Hi, in this clip we will talk about uh, modular arithmetics as a review and then we'll talk about multiplicative inverses. Okay, um, so let's give a quick review on the concurrence. So, congruent is the notation introduced by Gauss that um, so when you write uh, if you want to write a mod q when you want to say that the remainder of a after dividing it with q equals the remainder of b mod q you can write you can write something like a congruent to b mod q in many cases, uh, we use just equal sign here because uh, you know two two lines are easier to write than three lines. But uh, the correct notation would have would be three lines, okay? And in this case, um, this is a as a review. So this implies that uh, also imply that uh, if you uh, uh, say a minus b is going to be equal to zero modulo q as well so this implies that um implies that q divides a minus b okay so this is a quick review on the congruence so what what you can do with uh, the normal equal sign you can usually do with the congruent uh, on all the operations plus minus and also multiplication you you can definitely do with it B um so if you have a equals to b mod q and you have c equals to d mod q you can say uh, this was uh, you can say a plus c equals to b plus d mod q you can say that a minus c equals to b minus d mod q you can also say that a c equals to b times d mod q. Okay, so with this you can do all these uh, three operations with integers, right? They are all integers. Now, but uh, in many cases uh, we we need a little bit more more than just plus minus and and multiplication. Uh, we need uh, divisions. Okay, so. Um, in this lecture, we will focus more on on how to do that uh, with uh, modular arithmetics. Okay. All right. So let's go back to our central question. Uh, what exactly is uh, a divided by b? Okay. So um, when when we talk about real numbers, okay, when we talk about real numbers. We used to this uh, notation, and and we have a pretty clear uh, um, idea on what exactly is this, right? But um, now let's go back a little bit, right? So we define this to be c, right? Okay, so this equal to c such that c times b, b times c equals to a. Right. Okay, and and for for real numbers, we know that uh, we can think of this as having a right somewhere, and then then we uh, and then we try to uh, divide it into uh, into b pieces, and then uh, c is going to be the size of each of their piece. Right. Now. But that's uh, that's only work with uh, real numbers. When when we want to do this with uh, modular arithmetic, we will come back to we try to um, define this in terms of uh, the original definition of, of of this. Okay, so when you want to find a divided by b in in modular arithmetic, we are asking for the value c here. Okay. So let's look at the example. So suppose we we want to do everything say mod six. Okay, so we do everything mod six. If you want to ask uh, what is uh, two divided by five, right? So what is that? 
so we we ask the question so what is uh so this is uh so what is what number c such that uh, 5 times c equals 2 mod 6 right so let's try to figure out okay so let's try to find uh, 5 times 1 5 times 2 5 times 3 4 and 5 times 6 okay everything is going to be mod 6 so this is like 5 times 0 so it doesn't make sense okay so it's, it's it's zero right not doesn't make it makes sense all right so five times one is five mod six is five five times two is ten which is equal to uh four five times three is fifteen and that's uh three mod six five times four is twenty and that's two mod six five times five is uh twenty five and that's one mod six but we want we want two right so uh, we know that five times four is equal to two mod six so um so this is we say that this is four so we can check we can check by say five times four is going to be twenty and that's uh, two mod six so we say two over f two divided by five equal to four mod six okay so this is what how, how we're gonna do the division so let's look at another example so we will continue working on uh, the six as the modulus so now let's see uh, maybe uh, let's do another thing so what is one over five so we are we are finding uh, some number c such that five times c equals to one or six, right? But from our calculation table, previously we know that five times five is equal to twenty-five, equal to one mod six, right? So this is going to be five. We can check that by compute five times five, which is twenty-five. And that's one mod six, all right. But um, so let's look at another example uh, with a different uh, divider. So what exactly is five times uh, three times two mod six? So let's uh, see. So we want to find the number, right? Let's write it in full. So we want to find the number c such that 2 times c equals to 3 mod 6. You can try to write out the all the value of uh, 2 times 1, that's 1. 2 times 2, that's 4. 2 times 3, that's 6, that's 0. 2 times 4, that's going to be 8, that's 2. Uh, 2 times 1 is 2, sorry. And then you you get a uh, sequence of uh, zero two four zero two four zero, so you you you're not gonna get anything here, so um, you cannot find any value c such that uh, two times c equal three, so this is uh, so you have th this this question has no uh, solutions, okay. All right, so um, let's look at another example. Let's do that uh, mod seven. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's ask the same question. What is exactly three over two? Mod seven. Okay. Um, we can do that. Uh, let's compute two times one, two times two, and so on. So two times one is two. Two times two is four. Two times three is six. Two times four is eight. And that's one, right? Mod seven. No, you want you want the result to be three. So let's keep on move uh, calculating. So two times five is ten, and that's uh, three mod seven. So this is five. So we can check that 
so you use 2 times 5 that's 10 that's 3 mod 7 all right so so we know how to do uh, the calculation um, not exactly so we know how to define this number okay but uh, on the next clip we'll talk about how to actually find a number using the multiplicative inverse